What natural law is all about is the objective difference between right behavior and wrong behavior. I always tell people that, you know, we use the, the same word to communicate the idea of correct and moral. We use the word right to communicate that, those concepts. Correct means based in truth. And moral means that it is in harmony with natural law principles because when you take a right action, the result of that action does not result in harm to other beings, to other sentient beings. Conversely, wrong behavior is both incorrect and immoral. Incorrect meaning it is not based in truth and immoral meaning it is in opposition to natural law because when we take wrong behaviors, someone is harmed as a result of that behavior, of that behavioral choice. The problem is, folks, most people still in the year 2018, sad as though, though it may be to say, cannot properly define a right. They cannot give you the definition of what a right behavior is. And that's why we're losing our rights. Because they do not understand that a right is an action that does not cause harm to another sentient being. And it, it, that is the definition, and it is as simple as that. You know, I have rewatched the movie K-Pax recently. And the, you know, it's about an alien being that comes to the earth and interacts with, you know, the primitive human beings that can't understand his mindset. And when he's asked if his, his uh, planet has a government, he says, we have no need for a government. And he's like, well, how, how do your people know right from wrong? And his answer is, every being in the universe knows the difference between right and wrong. So, um, what about societal structure? government no there's no need for one well, you have no laws no laws no lawyers why do you know right from wrong every being in the universe knows right from wrong mark that's the real answer to that question this is should be common sense knowledge but we're so backwards as a species that I need a nine-hour presentation to explain to brainwashed people what the difference between right and wrong behavior is you know, I, I've said in past presentations, sometimes I sit up at night and laugh at the ridiculousness of what I do. Really. I laugh at how ridiculous having to present basic information like this is. And yet the majority of human beings, it's falling on deaf ears. The following actions are examples of the initiation of aggression against others which is what all wrongdoings are. These actions are violations against natural rights and therefore constitute violence. Murder, assault, rape, theft, trespass, and coercion. And you could think all you want about any wrongdoing that can possibly be committed. I've challenged many, many people to do this. And you will recognize every single wrongdoing that can be committed against another human being is a form of theft. There is only one wrong theft in one form or another and there is only one law in the universe don't steal that's it every wrongdoing comes down to an act of theft provably murder is the taking without just cause of the life of another which does not belong to you assault is the taking without just cause of another physical uh, another another being's physical well-being which does not belong to you Rape is the taking of another's free will sexual consent, which does not belong to you. Theft is the taking of property, physical property, which does not belong to you. Trespass is the taking of the security of another person in their domain, in their dwelling place, which does not belong to you to take. Coercion is the taking of another being's free will, which does not belong to you to take. Every wrongdoing is a form of theft. There's no wrongdoing anyone can think of that is not a form of theft. Natural law versus man's law. Natural law is based upon principles and truth which are inherent to creation. Man's law is based upon dogmatic belief systems which are the constructs of, of a diseased mind. Natural law is only ever harmonized with due to knowledge and understanding or not harmonized with, with due to ignorance. Man's law, on the other hand, is only complied with due to fear of punishment. Natural law is universal. It exists and applies anywhere in the universe regardless of location. 
Man's law differs with location based upon the whim of the legislators who are making up these decrees and commands. And that is a form of moral relativism. The idea that we can decide what right and wrong are, that they are not objective and inherent to creation because they are based upon actions. Natural law is eternal and immutable. That means it exists and applies for as long as the universe exists and it cannot ever be changed by any action that any being within the universe can do. Man's law, on the other hand, changes with time based upon the whim of legislators, which is also moral relativism. If a man-made law is in harmony with natural law, it follows logically that it is redundant, since it is stating a truth that is inherent, pre-existing, eternal, and self-evident, or it should be self-evident. Therefore, man's law is both irrelevant and unnecessary. If a man-made law is in opposition to natural law, it follows logically that it is both false, meaning it is incorrect, and it is immoral, meaning it is harmful, it results in harm to other beings. Or in other words, it's wrong. Therefore, a man's law can, uh, that is in opposition to natural law cannot, can never be legitimately binding upon anyone. Therefore, I say throw all of man's law out. We don't need it. We only need to understand and bring our behavior into compliance with natural law. That's it. And then we would experience a society based in freedom. Because as we engage in moral behavior, a, a society in the aggregate becomes more free. And as we be engage in immoral behavior, a society in the aggregate becomes more enslaved. That is the natural law of freedom. There is a law that governs the freedom of a whole society. As morality increases, freedom increases. As morality declines, freedom declines. You humans, sometimes it's hard to imagine how you've made it this far. <laughs>